hello everybody welcome to another video on AutoCAD today I'll talk about two commands helix and sweep helix and sweep command are used in AutoCAD to form springs threads and circular stairways to start with helix command type HEL and select the helix command then specify the center of your helix the next value you will specify will be your base radius I'm gonna insert 0 0.5 here after that specify your top radius it can be greater or smaller than base radius I'm gonna specify 0 0.5 again now the next prompt by default will be the height of the spring but you can see there are many options to select from if i in select the axis in point i can point my helix in any direction i like like this after pointing on the direction of your helix you can insert the length of the helix or just click to exit from there then double click on your helix here you can change the different parameter of your helix if I change this base radius into 0 0.1 0 0.1 my helix will change its shape into a conical helix in this way by changing different parameters you can make different type of helix now let's make a spiral using a helix command again type your helix command specify the center specify your base radius which is again i'm going to take a value of 0 0.5 then specify the top radius of a value 0 and enter so this is how we make a spiral using the helix command now let's go to the 3d modeling and see this helix command let's delete this go to 3d modeling go to southeast isometric type helix command specify the center specify your base radius specify your top radius and enter the height again you can select the option of as axis in point and point your helix in any direction that you want my helix be in this direction once again if you want to make a helix along a path you are gonna have to use the sweep command first I'm gonna make the path that my helix is gonna follow so I can make any path that I desire this is the path that I want my helix to follow then I'm gonna make an object that is gonna sweep along this path using the line I'm gonna use the line command and make the line and specify the radius mm. that my helix is gonna be 
Then I'm going to use the sweep command. Select the object that I want to sweep. Press enter. Now select the path along which I want my object to be swept. So this is the use of a sweep command. If you want to twist along the path, you have to specify the value of the twist in the angle form. So one complete rotation would be 360 degree. So I'm going to put 360 on the twist value. So you can see that my object has made a one row complete rotation while sweeping along this path. If you want more number of turns, then you have to specify different value. Say I want the five number of turns, then I'm going to specify 1800. As you can see that my object has made five turns while sweeping along this path. If we go to the shaded version, you can see this is a solid object. Let's go back to 2D wireframe. Use extract as extract edges. Select the object that you want to extract the edges and apply it. Then delete that object. The edges will remain and this edge will form the helix around the path. So this is how you use the helix command and a basic of a sweep command.